in Manitoba clothing, just about 18 hours later got into Alberta and Saskatchewan. <laughs> so he just barely got here. But he made it here on April 15th, just as BC closed down as well. We didn't let anybody else in. What an experience that was for us all, a completely new health emergency situation that no one foresaw, but that affected all of us. But we all pulled together, followed the rules, using masks, and sanitizing anything that didn't move, and uh, socially distancing, and helped one another, and we all came out on the other side. Now, just as an aside, to my knowledge, not one of the members of our congregation died of COVID. Not one. And considering the age of our of members, that's quite a fantastic statistic right there. So it worked. And Bob was, was thrown into the middle of this. Uh, for a whole year, Bob couldn't even meet the members of, the, of his new flock. Uh, we all wore masks for the first time, for the first year. Uh, and Bob was with us. I mean, if you passed us in the grocery store, he wouldn't know us because we all had masks on. Uh, but he used the resources available, made phone calls and emails, visited the people, sort of got a crash course in, in um, technology, preaching with technology, learned all about Zoom. <laughs> You're quite an expert at that and helped to keep us all going as a Christian family, concerned and caring for each other and uh, with each other and in service to our church and community as was available to us. So, but we introduced Bob to a few things, Easter sunrise service. Yeah. Uh, he explained that uh, such a thing would just not happen on the prairies. <laughs> yeah. no. 20 below, three feet of snow. <laughs> I don't you know, no. Yeah. And the giving of church of uh, the blessings for the animals. You had better done that before as well. To all of our pets and caring. Well, Bob was a favorite of my own dog, Ginger. I mean, walking into the, into the church here, she's pulling me. <laughs> she just wants to go so over. Oh, just to go over. And she burst into his office. And, you know, but uh, she just had to go and see Bob. Yeah. And say hello. Spent a lot of time nurturing our members and our faith community with visits. Uh, to those who were not comfortable in large meetings. Uh, and then uh, when worship services did open up again, uh, saw us grow in, uh, to almost double our regular attendance in the past year. So it was also the star of our weekly online services to everyone, follow out there, and postings on our website. And all this was new for him and for us, but he stepped forward and helped carry us through uh, the, our little church together. Bob also got us involved in the new social housing in our community, made contact again with the local high school as well, and when UVic started the soup suppers again, organized with Marion to, us to do, uh, incorporate that. We made inroads as far as we could in our journey of reconciliation with the First Nations, and we opened to wider involvement and through continued discussion with other churches in our own area here on the peninsula. We are a different church now, than when Bob came to us. And we thank him for that, for your part in that. More confident, we're more involved, and with perhaps a clearer vision of our next 162 years. <laughs> Bob has faithfully led us through the church year three times now, and has decided that at this time of Advent and new beginnings, it is the best time for him to start a new phase by retiring and moving away. So our loss is Port Alice's gain. But I would like all of us here to wish Bob and Amy blessings on their new adventure. Thank you. Thank you, Lissa, so much for sharing those words of blessings and sharing on behalf of the whole congregation. Thank you. Yes, I'll echo that. It's uh, three and a half years. Uh, what a wonderful way to in my almost 30 year career. Uh, I'm serving all of you wonderful folk here and, and growing in my own faith and uh, growing in my own understanding of who God is by engaging with each of you collectively and many of you individually. And so uh, I, leave, I leave with feeling enriched and blessed and uh, have, will have wonderful memories and uh, yeah, I still have another week to go. So I'm not, <laughs> not going to get too sappy. But uh, thank you. And, and going to the week with blessing and uh, joy. And we'll see you all again next week for sure. And we'll see you in the lunch. Good night.